Uh, could you talk a little bit more about ecosystem management and, and the barriers to that, why that's difficult for so many folks to get their heads around and how it differs from the traditional way we manage fisheries? Um, for, for the first, um, better, for many, many years uh, in my career, and certainly for many years for fishery management, just getting science-based management was a huge undertaking. And uh, up until, it was until 2006, at the federal level, that they actually required that you end overfishing. It was allowed to just continue overfishing. Um, so I think there's been a long effort to just understand how a single population works to develop the science so you can predictably model and understand how that species interacts with the ecosystem, how it varies over time, how the various fisheries that affect it um, are. And so I think you're at a moment where it's, you know, you have a system and you have science that's developed around that single species model. And ecosystem-based fishery management can be really complicated or it can be more simple. Um, we did, it was briefly mentioned, we did a deep sea coral protection. That was more like freeze the footprint. Let's look where fishing is. Let's look at where the important deep sea corals are. Let's go ahead and just freeze the footprint and protect these intact ecosystems. Uh, in some ways, the unmanaged forage amendment was a similar decision to that. Let's protect these big, vast populations that are currently unfished until we have enough science to manage them. So those are all parts of ecosystem-based fisheries management. Um, but the moment that we're trying to get to with Menhaden is to have an integrated understanding of how the multiple species affect each other. And it's a hard, it's a challenging situation, but it's really hard to, it's just smart management. You can't manage a species without understanding what it means to its predators and what it means to its prey. These are connected. You know, I was at a meeting, at, I think at this last meeting, where you had managers in one room saying, striped bass is at the threshold. We're really concerned it's on a downturn toward a very bad situation. And then in the next room, the next day, they're saying, Menhaden is doing great. Let's increase the catch a very large amount. I think that is ecosystem-based fishery management in essence to say, let's connect these decisions, let's think about how they interact with each other. Um, and you don't have to have perfect understanding, but we need to try and do better. We need to move and advance in a direction that ultimately uh, we would want our resources managed that way. Um, and so I think in this particular case, though, it's we, you want to set a goal that's an ecosystem goal. In other words, we want to have more of many species, not just one. So if you have a vision of wanting more striped bass and more many, and you try and manage them toward an overall ecosystem goal, and that's where we're hoping to head. But is our science well developed enough to allow that in, in a meaningful way? Are we sort of guessing and it, it gets more complicated as more species are introduced to our models? The science is pretty close to there. The science is there, I think. I think the science is there. Um, there are complex models that are keeping of, uh, you know, they're not perfect, but of simulating food webs. I, but at the same time, I think if you don't man try and take an ecosystem approach, you still affect the ecosystem. So there are much better models. And even this rule of thumb approach that we're doing, which is based on science, which is there, which is ready to go, there are approaches which will do a better job of protecting our ecosystem and our resources that are available now. And there are models in development, for example, on Menhaden, um, and I can get into school ones, but you go pack with ecosystem that can model many, many species, put in the data and actually help us understand the impacts of our decisions. And they're saying 2019 to 2020, that may be <coughs> So, but in some sense, the ecosystem-based fishery management decision on Menhaden is more of a policy decision about how much you allocate the ecosystem. And in that sense, we're ready to go right now. So one of the species affected by any sort of management of that name is the human species. And I have a couple questions from, um, from y'all about that. Um, 